Hello, friends. <laughs> hey, this is your old pal, Rick Fink. Uh, today is day six of our, uh, of our series. Um, what the hell was Rick thinking when he wrote that song? Um, I think I used that one already. Actually, well, today, I'd first like to start by um, thanking everyone who has contributed to our Indiegogo campaign and you can find the link either above me or below me depending on where you're watching this video uh, today today we are uh, we are discussing the song Party on the Second Floor Party on the Second Floor appeared on the final Gas House Gorillas album Shut Up and uh, I have included the awesome video right down there. Uh, this song I wrote uh, right before right before we went in the studio, probably about a month before we went in the studio to record the album. Um, I was I always kind of liked that uh, sort of Eddie Cochran uh, riff that that thing. Um, of course, my first exposure to that came through the Dead Boys and. Uh, the Sex Pistols. Uh, it wasn't until much later that I disco even discovered um, Eddie Cochran. But um, I wanted to write something with a, a, a riff like that. I, I thought we needed another rocker. Um, so I thought of, I was walking home from the gym and I thought of uh, the phrase party on the second floor. Uh, and I came home and uh, my wife was here and I told her, don't talk to me. I have an idea, and I sat down with my guitar, and um, and I wrote it in about ten minutes, I think. <laughs> um, uh, the uh, the line, "Bring your face to the place," was a line that uh, that I got from Eddie Everett. It was something he used to always put on Facebook when he was trying to get people out to our gigs. Um, there's actually another line that I got from Eddie Everett on that album, on the song Big Fat Pig. Look at the boiler on that Big Fat Pig was a thing that I got from Eddie. Uh, no fat shaming here, folks. Uh, it was a joke. Um, he would do it in a funny voice when we were on the road. Um, but uh, at any rate, <laughs> I digress. Uh, we, uh, Yeah, the song was written really quickly. Um, always a fun song to play live. Uh, sometimes towards the end we used to extend it at the end and, and go off on a tangent and it was always fun and the crowd was always revved up when we were playing it. Uh, the, um, the video, um, the video was, the, the initial idea was, was, was mine and, um, it was to have, uh, Emma, Emma Dior, Emma Orr, <laughs> I never know whether I should put the D in there or not. Um, was to have uh, Emma um, lip sync the words. Um, Oscar Rodriguez, who also uh, filmed it and edited it, um, he had the idea of having her morph uh, morph looks as as the video went on. And um, of course, Emma did a killer job, which I knew she would. But for me, <laughs> the dark horse in this whole thing was none other than uh, than the uh, the mighty Jim Davis, who uh, really really came through with flying colors. Um, we, when we were filming it, uh, Crusher had the idea to have the guy upstairs. Of course, something I had neglected to think of. But uh, he said, "You got to show the guy upstairs." So we started making phone calls to get somebody down while we were filming. And uh, we couldn't get in touch with anybody that day. And then uh, it came to Crusher like a flash. He said, what if we get Jim Davis? And of course, uh, Oscar and I looked at each other like, of course! So we called Jim Davis to see if he was game. And Jim was game, so we went to Jim's house. Uh, just me and... Me and uh, me and Oscar. Um, I almost called Oscar Roger for some reason. <laughs> um, we went to Jim's house and, and we filmed it there in his apartment. And of course, Jim was brilliant. 
Jim was better than we knew Jim would be good, but Jim was better than we could have ever pictured. Uh, Jim was was uh, was a ball of fire with the Gas House Gorillas. Uh, Jim was a guy who had always stood still on stage, I think, with kind of a poker face whenever he was playing with any other band. But with the Gas House Gorillas, I like to think that Jim really came into his own as a performer. He was funny and he was he was he was out of his mind and he was he was uh he was up for anything uh that I would drag him into. <laughs> um Jim was also a lot of fun on the road. Um he came up through the um through the uh, uh the combat zone in uh in Boston playing there seven nights a week in his uh in his salad days and uh you know he was one of the uh one of the last of the old time honkers on that tenor saxophone and uh we always had a ball with Jim and Jim always had great stories on the road um when sitting in the in the truck um some of the things that would come out of his mouth would just floor us <laughs> but uh Jim is a, a beautiful guy um and uh when he left the band we all missed him but uh Anyway, this uh, so this this video, uh, Emma killed it, and uh, and Jim killed it as well. And uh, I haven't uh, seen my friend Jim in a while. I haven't called him. I think I owe him a phone call. But uh, this goes out to Jim Davis. And I want to say that if you have not contributed to our Indiegogo campaign. I hope that you will follow the link, especially today, because it's been kind of a slow day. So uh, I'm, I'm getting a little, uh, little antsy. But uh, I appreciate everybody who's contributed. And whatever happens, happens. And either way, I love you guys. You have no idea. <laughs> so everybody have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow with the final, the seventh and final day of this silly thing that I'm doing all week and uh, I hope everybody is well and uh, I see some sunshine outside so I hope you're outside enjoying it if you're local if not then uh, I hope it's nice where you are too cheers everybody see you tomorrow